Hello there, Deadly Habit here again with another episode of Gentleman's Gaming Corner Impressions. Once again, going through one of the games that's on sale on Indievania at the moment. I've actually had this one uh, since it first came out. I paid full price back one before it was even on Indievania. This is a delightful little roguelike, kind of like Gauntlet, called Cardinal Quest by Ido Ihili. I can't even really pronounce his name. But we'll get right to it. It's got a nice retro style to it. Ah, nice synth style music. Alright, we'll just get right into it. New game. The evil Minotaur, Asterion, has terrorized the peaceful land of Helamot for countless years. In his underground den, he and his minions enjoy the spoils of their wicked deeds. Determined to end his reign of plunder and pillage, a single hero comes forth. You are that hero. Okay, you've got three classes to choose from. The Fighter, a mighty warrior possessing unparalleled strength and vigor. Straightforward melee character recommended for beginners. Thief, a cunning and agile rogue. His speed allows for a swift escape. The most challenging character uses speed and skills to avoid taking damage. And Wizard, a wise mage who mastered the arcane secrets of magic. Can cast spells rapidly, uses mystic powers as often as possible. We'll just go with Fighter for this. As you can see, it's got a nice throwback graphic style to it. You enter the dark domicile of the evil Minotaur. In the distance, you can hear the chatter of the vile creatures that inhabit the depths. Your adventure begins. And yeah, it starts here right off. The interface on this is really simple. I'll just leave this up for a second. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can move with WASD. You can move with the mouse. Uh, we'll go into some of these, the map. Pretty nice layover layout for it. It's transparent enough that you can keep it up if you need to. Inventory. Get rid of that overlay. Um, you auto-equip items in this, so if you find something better, it auto-equips for you. So it's pretty simplified. You can destroy items right from in here. Mouse over something gives you the description. Healing potion, a small vial containing fragrant red salve. It restores life when applied. Full heal. Elixir of Line! This elixir temporarily increases the drinker's strength immensely. Two damage multiplier. Berserk. Induces a berserk rage that greatly increases your strength and speed. Okay. So, ah, uh, that's not the right button. Let's see, inventory's eye. Character stats. Got 8 to 8 health, 5 attack, 2 defense, 3 speed, 1 spirit, vitality. Let's see what's in this chest. Okay, see? I'll go back to inventory. Auto equip the boots. So that added one speed for me. Oh, we got an enemy. Yeah. Uh-oh, -uh, I saw another one. Yeah, everything's procedurally generated, so no game's the same as the last one. Like most roguelikes. This this is kind of like roguelike meets gauntlet, if, if you ask me. Oh, God. Oh, there's a spell. Let's take him out first. Oh, he hit me. Okay, what's this one? Fear? Makes a monster flee in horror, so okay, that's if you get overwhelmed. Oh, armor, sweet. Fear? Don't need it. See, yeah, he out also cool, the other cool thing is, see, he doesn't hold something if he doesn't need it. Say you already have a short sword, you pick it up, he automatically destroys it. Because, as I recall, there's no shops actually in this game. Damage. Don't need it. Yeah, it adds a coin. I forgot what the hell coins do. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I've got two coins. There might be shops. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played this. Okay. Oh, take that. And that. Uh, I'm not close to leveling up, so... Uh, I forgot. Let's see. Hockey sucks. That's where they'll start. Uh. Oh, there's the stairs to the next floor down. Eh, there's still quite a bit to explore on this level. Yes, like most roguelikes, this one, you're dungeon crawling. Okay, cool, got better boots. You're dungeon crawling going down floors to get to the Minotaur. Apparently the developer is working on a 2, and as I recall reading his blog, he's working on a deluxe edition of this one for um, 
you'll get it for free if you're an existing customer for it. So, I mean, now's a good time to pick this up for a buck. Um, as I recall, when I got it, it's also on, uh, Desura, so... He was... If you emailed him with, um, and you actually bought it from him, he was giving keys for Desura, too, if you kind of want to have your games all in one place. And Desura's a nice client, because it auto-updates them. Okay, have I explored everywhere? Nope. Keep that up. Da, da, da. Yeah, this is this is a good uh, introduction to roguelikes. Um, much like Dungeons and Dreadmore is, it's graphical. So people fearing those ASCII graphics, which I know some people are apprehensive about with uh, traditional roguelikes or it's how base graphics kind of like this. It's it's got this actually has animation to it. It's a flash game, as I recall. Very nicely done one. And for a buck, you really can't go wrong. Uh, we'll play for a little while longer. I think that clears out this floor. Let's see. Yep. Okay, where's the stairs? There they are. And then... Hockey better. Oh, level up. So, now let's take a look at the character. 13 health. Uh, the plus is after your equipment bonuses, and also, like, when you cast a spell, you'll get your bonuses there as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the graphics don't stay the same. Uh, the dungeon walls obviously change the further you go down. Um, I'm trying to remember how many levels there are to this. I think, like, 10 or 15 or something like that. I know, this, this is a nice game. It's a nice coffee break game, honestly. Because you can go through it pretty quick. But yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers the basics of it. Um, obviously, you have the other classes, the Thief and the Wizard. But if you're looking for a good coffee break game, or an introduction to roguelikes, or just a nice throwback, honestly, um, it's a very good game. For a buck, you can't go wrong, especially with the replayability of it being randomized every time. But yeah, definitely check this one out. Um, you can actually go to cardinalquest.com, and I believe there's a link to a demo that you can just play right in your browser for a few of the levels. And you'll see what I mean. But this is Deadly Habit, signing off. So, you like video games, do you? Well, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this. Well, I hang out at this site called vinesauce.com, and I also post my videos there. Interviews, stuff like that, and there's live streaming of games as well. So, if you like video games, head over to vinesauce.com and join the community.